everybody. I'm on my morning walk with Garrett. Beautiful outside. And as you can see, we are walking in heel. The leash is dragging. So I just wanted to make this video showing all the training is on the e-collar. So you don't need to be holding him and restraining him back with a leash. If he moves out of this wonderful heel position, which is at my left side, slightly behind me, I use my e-collar and the knowledge that he's gained over the past four weeks means find that heel position again. That's what we taught him with the training. So I'm using my beep there. If he loses my leg, beep, beep, and he comes right back. My knee is his reference. So he needs to keep my knee in his vision. He's, a, he's using his vision to stay in that spot. What a nice walk this is though. Can you imagine taking your walks like this with your dog? No leash, you can see in the shadow. I'm not holding on to anything. So the cool thing about e-collar heel is that one, you're not constantly tugging back your dog. And two, you can walk for miles like this. What we suggest is get your dog out for a 10 or 15 minute walk, go to a destination, maybe a grassy area, release them, let them sniff, play, wander, potty, be a dog, recall back to heel to walk home. That way they're not trying to do all that stuff while on the walk, which is what most dogs do. Sniffing, pulling, lunging, zigzagging, marking, eating stuff off the ground. They're trying to do that while they're walking. So what we say is let's draw a clear line and say this is working, this is traveling. When I release you, you can go sniff, mark, wander. He's doing so good. The shadow there. Let me turn around. Oh, Garrett, you look so good. Really doing amazing. So he's completely off leash trained. Good boy, Garrett. Oh, good job, buddy. Sits when I stop stay he's got a really nice stay command that he's learned here Garrett down what a good boy he's got a down stay let me talk about the practicality of the down stay if you have a dog who can lay down on command and actually stay until released you really can take them anywhere because he can do this at a restaurant patio he can do this in your backyard your back deck he really can go anywhere dogs are allowed and be calm doing it. Not constantly at the end of the leash, not constantly lunging. The downstay is one of my favorite commands because of that reason. Good boy, I like how he's using his butt as a pillow. You so happy, good boy, bud. Yes, he's so good, yes. Down, good. Now let me show you some of that off leash freedom he's earned. Okay, so notice he's staying until I either give him another command or I release him. Releasing him means he's free to do whatever he wants within reason. So when I release him, he can go sniff and potty and explore, but he can't go running into my neighbor's yard. He can't start barking, right? He can't just start like eating stuff off the ground. So there's rules even in break and that's what keeps our dogs successful. Garrett, break! Good boy, bud! Hi! Oh, you're so happy, buddy. Good boy. He found his best buddy, Josh. Getting some affection. Remember, this is all off leash, right? So this is sort of a campsite. You can take him camping. You can have him on place. You can have him in a down. You can have him hiking off leash. He does not lack confidence. He's getting on the picnic table. That's funny. Anyone need a right hand man? This is your guy. Hey Garrett, come, come. Good boy, place. Wow, good job. He's never even been on this bed, you guys. That's so, so that was what we call a recall, which is the come command, to place, which is a raised cot. And as you can see, place can be used anywhere. We usually use it inside the house to keep structure avoid free roaming, keep the dogs out of trouble. But look, it can also be used outside at a campsite. 
See? And then some of our clients bring them to soccer games. They're portable. What a good boy. Nice job. Hey, Garrett. Break. Good job, nice, buddy. Good, good job.